It didn't make any sense. That was what I struggled with the most. No matter how I tried, I just couldn't understand it. I spent my entire life studying the ancient texts, training in the wisdom of my people. The tradition of the Magi is rich and sacred, and I have upheld this honor with the strictest diligence and devotion. I have learned to read the stars, to interpret the great writings of Persia and Babylon, to discern the hidden meanings in all living things. I have read the Greeks and the Romans. I have learned the myths of the West and the poems of the East. I have divined the powers of Egypt, the wealth of Asia, the history of the Hebrews. I did it all right. I thought I did it all right. But that night we saw the star. It changed everything. Here it was. It was something that transcended all knowledge. It was something that went beyond all my studying and learning, all my reaching. I mean, I had as much wealth and honor as I could possibly desire. Everyone looked to the Magi for me for answers. You see, the Hebrews have this psalm that says, the heavens declare the glory of God and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech and night to night reveals knowledge. There was something about this star that spoke to us, that declared the glory of God to us. Something about it revealed knowledge we didn't have, yet desperately needed. We knew we had to go to Jerusalem. For all its holy mystery, the star that night seemed to signal three distinct truths, a birth, a king, and the Jewish people. For all we did not understand, we could with certainty discern these three realities. So when we arrived before Herod, we asked about the three signs we saw in the star. We asked him, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? This star was declaring the birth of a king. No, the birth of the king. And we knew this king was worthy of our worship as well. Whoever this king was, he was the sum of all my studies. He was the center of every text, every star, every secret. Of all the cultures I have considered and all the prophecies I have read, and all the knowledge I have gained and all the wisdom I have sought, this child was the ultimate truth. When we saw his star, when it rose, we came to worship him. My whole life I have waded through all these thousands of scrolls, all these different claims, philosophies, and myths, straining to hear the voice of truth, like, like I was overhearing a conversation occurring in the other room. I could hear the different voices running all over each other, but I couldn't figure out what was really being said. I would press my ear harder and harder, leaning into everything I read and analyzed, but it was all muffled and indistinct. It was all just noise, but when I saw his star, it was like the one voice I needed to hear the most had walked into my room, had spoken my name, had spoken to me, and told me after all my searching and longing, the truth that changes everything. It was like God was no longer on the other side of the wall. He was finally here. <laughs>